hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by thank you for the love today i'll be showing you how i made this ankara ball gown for my daughter i used a six year old measurement to my old and new subscribers i say a very big thank you to you if this is what you're interested in then keep on watching so i used already drafted patterns for this tutorial the link to how i drafted the pattern will be in the comment section i'll be leaving the link to the tutorial in the comment section don't forget to like share and subscribe let's get into the video so guys i'll be using this pattern paper for the upper bodies the link to how to draft this bodies basic bodies for face year old will be in the description box or in the comment section so I have my, my anchor fabric here. I have two yards of anchor fabric here. I have, this is the lining I will be using. And this is taffeta fabric I'll be using to combine it. And I also have my net I'll be adding underneath it just for the puffiness. I also have this um, ribbon, velvet ribbon that I will be using too. So, because I already have my pattern, it's going to make it faster. I'm just going to cut the down part of the Ankara. The full length of the dress that's from the shoulder to where I want the length to be is 31 inches. And the body that's from the shoulder to where the gather will start from is 11 inches. That's this pattern here. It's 11 inches. I already added allowance to it. So now, I will now, since it's 11 inches and the full length is 31, I will be working with the length of 20 inches. So, now I have two yards of Ankara here. This is it. This is one yard and two, the second yard. So, I'm just going to bend it over like so. I check the length. So I have about 22 inches, about 22 and a half. So I'm going to cut it like so. So now I've divided this. If I join it together, I will have four yards of Ankara. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to divide this one into two. So that this part now, I'm going to divide it into two. So that the down part, the gather part will be three yards. And then the... Remaining half of this one is what I will use to do the upper bodies. So now I'm going to keep this. So now I'm going to join this one yard to these two yards of length. I'm going to join it together to form straight lines. So automatically for the gather part of the down part, I'm using three yards. So I'll just set this one aside first. Now, since I have my pattern, I'm just going to place my pattern on top and cut it. So guys, I've gone ahead to cut out the lining for the front and the back bodies. I've also gone ahead to cut out the lining for the down part. So, the lining... The lining I have for the down part is actually two yards in the width. So I just measured, I measured 20 inches. I just measured 20 inches. You can see that and cut out two yards. And then I cut it in two places. Meaning if I join it together, this is one piece, this is another piece. Meaning if I join these two together, I will have four yards length. And then 20 inches for the length four yards in the width and 20 inches if you want it to be puffy around the waist and you don't have enough ankara fabric make your lining more you can gather your lining more and then you get achieve that puffiness that you are looking for so i'll just set this one aside front and the back bodies and the lining so now since there's a design in front and I want to use this my pattern paper again, so I don't want to alter it. What I'm going to do now, you can see that the white paper is a bit shorter than my pattern paper. You can see, it's a bit, 
it's a bit shorter but it's okay because the pattern didn't get to the bottom of it so now in my original bodies that i traced out i'm just going to come up by two inches from the bottom part i came up by two inches so now i'm going to put it place it on top of my new pattern paper now what i'm going to do i'm going to trace out the neck like so the shoulder and the armhole now i've traced it out this is what i have just trace out the full bodies so this is the pattern i have now i'm just going to take my ruler and just form like a v this is the length i want you know i came up by two inches so this is the length let me roll it so now i'm just going to form like a v this is what you should have or you can you can point it if you, if you want it it's very pointed can do it like this so i'll cut it out and this is what i'll use to cut out my plain fabric and now this is it i'm just going to bring my tofeta so now i'm going to place my pattern on top and use it to cut out the tofeta the anchor fabric this is it so i did i had lace this taffeta would have been the lace fabric but i don't have lace so this is what i'm using so now it has ruffles around it this taffeta i'm going to cut it now i'm going to de de determine how and why i want the ruffles to be i don't mind the ruffles to be like one and a half inch i don't want it too wide so now for the ruffles because i'll be bending it over as in folding it into two places i'm just going to cut three and a half inch i'm marking three and a half for the width so now i cut at three and a half for the width i'm going to bend it like so And then I can do gather stitch or pleat stitch, or I can pleat it or gather it. I'm going to gather it like so around there. So for the net, I'm going to measure 15 inches length and mark it. And I'm going to cut it out. So I will be adding this net to the lining and I will not be adding it from the waist side. I'm going to show you how I will add it when I'm done. So now this is the anchor I have left, but I still have the fabric. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut half yard from my other anchor fabric to use to do the sleeve because I don't want to use tafeta to do the sleeve. So, but the dress will have a belt. I want to measure this. Let me see if I can use this remaining one for the belt. So, this is long enough. This is 35 and a half inches. So, I'm going to cut out two stripes. So, the width of the belt is 4 inches. By the time I fold it like so, it will become 2 inches. By the time I finish sewing it and turning it out, I'll have about one and a half inch. So what I have here is four inches by 35 inches in length in two pieces. This for the belt. So guys, I just went ahead to cut the belt. I just did like a V shape. I just cut it out on both sides because I'm going to sew it from here now. 
down to the other end and i will op i won't sew this place because this way i will use to turn it out i'll do the same thing for the second belt now i'm going to go ahead and press this taffeta around the neck and the sides down to the middle i'm going to press it all around after doing that i'm going to join the front and the back I'll join it with half an inch on the shoulder. I'm just still going to join the lining, the front and the back bodies of the lining on the shoulder too. So guys, I've gone ahead to join the front to the back. I also attached this plain fabric and this is the lining now. I also joined it, just joined the um, lining on the shoulder. And then I'm gonna have to cut out the sleeve for the sleeve, I used her round curve upper arm is um six inches, um twelve inches, half of it is six inches. So I just added extra, I just added extra about extra four inches to it. So that's about ten inches on fold, and then the length I used thirteen inches for the length. So I didn't add too much on the width, like I didn't double her round arm. Like I'm supposed to double it, but I don't want it too big on her. So I'm just going to put this on fold. I'm going to use one and a half inch to fold it. So that by the time I use one and a half, I'll have 11 and a half. And then I'll use half to join it to the bodies. So I'll have 11 inches at my length. So I'm just going to iron this out. So now I'm going to double fold it like, like so. Because you don't want the rough edge to be showing. So now I'm going to take this over to my machine and run a stitch. So this is the type of elastic I'll be working with. So I'm done running the stitch. I'm going to take my elastic. Remember I said it's 4.5. I'm going to add one inch to it, making 5.5. .5. So I'm just going to measure it 5.5 .5 and mark it with chalk. So now I'm going to insert it inside the hole. Now I'm going to take it over to my machine and tack it down. And I will draw it. Look for that place I marked. It's right here. And I'll tack it down here too, like so. So guys, this is the sleeve. I just top stitch it here and then this side. So I'm going to go ahead now, join it together, and then I'll close it with half an inch of the sides. So guys, I'm done closing the side, but I opened it. I just closed it like maybe halfway, like, like two inches from this other end, from the other end. So don't close it completely or you can even leave it when you are done attaching it to the bodies you close it so now i'm going to take it and the bodies i'm going to secure the middle with pin and then secure this other end with pin now i'm going to start sewing i'll sew maybe about two inches after two inches, I'll start to pleat it like I'm pleating it. But make sure you secure this middle that you notched. This middle. Secure it to the shoulder joining. So that you can gather up this area. So let, I'll sew it like that. I'll still continue gathering here. And then sew it to this other end. Then I will so do the same thing for the other side of the sleeve too. So guys, I'm done joining the sleeve. This is it. Next thing, I'm going to take the lining. Right side facing right side. I'm going to start stitching. I'm going to leave one inch because of the zipper. And then stitch it down to the other end. So guys, this is the lining. I've only attached it on the neck. 
I've done this other side so I'm going to show you how to do it now so this is the sleeve I opened it up I'm going to bend it inside like so I will even advise for it to be easier for you don't put the elastic yet so now I'm going to secure the middle of my lining to the middle of the shoulder joining right here so now I'll take the lining end and the anchor end and I'm going to sew it just going to start sewing it just sew it down to the other end when done sewing it we are going to go ahead and turn it out now so you take the front side of your anchor and try to bring out the back from the front So after turning it like this, I'm going to go ahead and give it a good press. So guys, I'm done ironing it. I'm going to take the main fabric like so, front and the back bodies like so. Automatically, you will see the sleeve will go down the other way. Now you're going to sew it with your allowance down to the armhole. When you get to the armhole, the sleeve is right inside when you get to the um joining of the armhole you just reverse it after reversing it take your sleeve and like push it inside push it inside a bit and then take your lining and continue just sew your lining down to the other end with your allowance and then you will come back and then you will close your sleeve now before you close this side i forgot that we are putting belts you are going to take your belt and then flip your belt inside like so you can secure it with pin if you want Only the anchor, separate the lining from it, take your anchor fabric and then come up by half an inch because this other half an inch you use to attach it to the down part of the skirt part of the gown. So you will secure your um, belt, take the other side of the belt like so and then secure it to remember to come up by half an inch or one inch whatever you like depending on the allowance you took that you used to attach the bottom to the upper part and then secure it before you close the sides so guys to close the armhole in a way that it will balance you go ahead and loosen the armhole a bit you know you're, you join the lining and uh, the fabric straight no Go ahead and separate it a bit at the armhole. Now you will close your um, anchor fabric separate to the armhole. Close it from the waistline to the armhole separate. Close your line in the same thing from the waistline to the armhole separate. Go ahead and close your sleeve too. Close your sleeve from the um, where you put elastic to the armhole separate. Now you go ahead and attach your anchor fabric you see the way i'm holding it like so open that joining of your anchor fabric the joining of your sleeve open it and then open your lining too All of them will be meeting at the joining of the armpit. So go ahead and stitch it round to that side where you opened. Just close it back and then by the time you turn it, everything will be balanced. So guys, I've gone ahead to do gathers on this one. 
this strip I cut out. So I'm going to take these cloths now and I'm going to take like half an inch away from the shoulder joining, half an inch away from this stuff we put. I'm going to press it on top of it like so. So when I get here, get to this V part, I'm just going to bend it over like so and continue to the other end. I'm going to do it like that. So it's going to be difficult for me at the shoulder, but I'm just going to try because I have to separate the lining from it so that you don't see the stitch. Let's separate the lining and start top stitching it like that to the other end it will be easier on this part because it's free but just the shoulder you might have difficulty doing that so guys i'm done sewing it on top this is what i have so i also cut out this tiny strip and i just ironed it look i ironed it so now this is what i'm going to press on top and I'll just I'll fold the inside first and stitch it before I start pressing it on top. So the end doesn't look rough like so. So I'm going to press it on top just to cover all these rough edges down to the other end like so. So guys. I'm done doing the upper part. I'm just going to set it aside and begin with the down part. So first of all, I'll go and join these two yards and one yard together, making it three yards. After joining it together, I will gather the waist. The waist I'm working with is 23 inches. I will gather it to be 25 inches. 23 inches for the standard width with and one inch on the left hand side for the zipper one inch for the right hand side zipper making 25 inches i'll do exactly the same thing for the lining and then i'm going to measure it and fold the bottom remember i said the skirt length is 20 inches so i have extra i have extra um two and a half inches so i'm going to use two inches to fold it and the other half inch i will to add it to the upper body i'll do exactly the same thing for the lining so guys i'm done doing gathers for this one and i also gathered the net this is it and i also gathered the lining so also I folded, I just folded the bottom of the lining and the anchor fabric. So this is the lining that I've done that has. I folded the bottom and the same thing for the anchor. So now I'll go and join this to, to the, I'll join the net to the anchor fabric. This was not my initial plan, but I have to do it like this right now. So I'll join it to the anchor fabric like so from this end to the other end so guys i've attached the net to the anchor fabric now i'm going to take this upper bodice and attach the anchor to the anchor fabric like so i'm going to flip it over And I'm going to sew it from the end of this zipper line down to the other end of the zipper line. So guys, I'm done attaching it, the up and the down together. And this is it. I'm going to take the lining now. And I'm going to attach it to the lining from this zipper line down to this zipper line once i finish attaching it i'm going to throw it over and then close it and set the zip 
so guys this is what the dress looks like after making it after inserting the zip i'm basically done i went ahead to just made this um, bow with a velvet ribbon and then i just embellished it with some stones so guys if you really want to know how to attach your puff sleeve make sure you watch the part where i attach the puff sleeve with lining it's pretty much simple easy to understand very clear if you like this video please give it a thumbs up share this video with your friends and family don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys i'll see you in my next video bye